you think about the absolute insane number of things that have been added into games in the Call of Duty franchise from weapons, perks, attachments, game modes, maps, everything like that, there is an undeniable insane amount of assets and things that go into the game. But what a lot of people don't realize is there's also a ton of things that never make it into the retail copy that you physically pop into your Xbox, PlayStation, or PC if you are a PC gamer. And as such, there's a lot of stuff that you either probably never knew about, never played with, or just never even saw in any way, shape, or form. So with this one, I'm gonna take a look at five guns that you guys probably have never seen and more than likely never played around with unless you actually got into the PC files, made the assets yourselves, and then put them into the game forcibly. Other than that, chances are you've never really played around with these. So with that said, hopefully you guys enjoy, but let's jump right into our number five here. So starting us off, we're gonna go with a Modern Warfare 2 version of the M4, and this one's a little bit different. It's only available, once again, in the PC game files, but thanks to my good friend Nick or Conviction DR, he was able to put this together there was a version of the M4 that had a cloth wrap on it. Not like something that you could customize with your weapon, it wasn't a camo or anything like that. It was simply a completely different version of the M4, but a cloth wrapped M4 at that. So there is nothing really different other than what we know of thus far. It's basically the same gun, same attributes, all that kind of stuff, but the only difference is that you can see there is a clear, distinct cloth wrapping around the barrel, as well as on the stock too. So it's something that perhaps was meant to be a winter camo, was it meant to be something entirely different? I guess we'll never know, but it ended up being cuts and therefore was probably one of those weapons you never knew about. Number two up on this list is going to be the Remington 870 MCS. This was actually cut from two Call of Duty games, but there have been subtle variations of the weapon here and there, most notably in Black Ops 2, the Remington 870, but the MCS was cut from Modern Warfare 2 as well as in Black Ops 3 as well. This is something that from Modern Warfare 2 there's only a few texture files available for it, but in Black Ops 3 it's something that can actually be attained via the console and retains the same properties though as the Black Ops 2 version. It's also one of those ones that's been rumored as a DLC weapon since the beginning of the DLC weapons in Black Ops 3, and what's kind of fueled the fire is that it's popped up from time to time in imagery within Black Ops 3. It's also actually seen in the multiplayer map Rift from the Eclipse DLC. It's actually seen in one of the armories on that map. So a lot of people thought, is it gonna be coming? Maybe, maybe not, I guess we'll see, but Right now, it's still one of those weapons that was entirely cut from Black Ops 3. Moving along into number three, we're actually gonna be talking about my friend Nick or Conviction DR once again here at this one because he got us footage and actually remade a lot of this by scratch, which is awesome because there's only really texture files for this available in the game files, but number three up on this list is the MK-12 SPR. It's a cut sniper rifle for Modern Warfare 3 that really only has texture files available for it, but does have that base imagery which it does showcase what it looks like. So Nick was able to go in and make this model from basically scratch, it seems like, and thus putting it into COD 4 to show it off a little bit here for us. But it is something that has a very combination look between the M4A1 and the RSASS. So kind of a little bit of a hybrid between the two, if you want to put it that way. You can see where the barrel is very similar to the RSASS, but the stock and the body itself is the M4A1s. So it's a really interesting weapon, but something that I definitely think would have been really cool to see in the full version of Modern Warfare 3. I don't know if it would have worked out or not, but for that, I suppose your guess is as good as mine. Number four here in this one is going to be the M27 from Black Ops 3. Once again, one of those weapons that a lot of people really think still to this day probably think that we'll be coming to Black Ops 3 at some point in time. Whether or not it does, I guess that's only for time to tell, but right now it still is in that category range. But the interesting part about this is there's evidence of this existing in the game files entirely in Black Ops 3. And it's something that even pops up in various different locations throughout both the campaign, zombies, multiplayer, you name it. So in the mission Lotus Tower, there's a crate of M27s that can be seen in the campaign. In the data vault, there's some imagery of it as well. In the armory on Rift, which we saw the Remington as well in there, there's an M27 also featured in that armory. And then in Dura 
Horizon Drac and in Zetsubono Shima, if you use console commands on the PC version, you can actually recall the M27 into zombies, and it's something that works, but it's something that has the same exact properties as the Black Ops 2 version. So it's nothing that's updated or anything like that, but still pretty cool to think about and definitely is intriguing as to why it was cut from Black Ops 3, despite still kind of being there, but never actually made to the public. Now, the final weapon we'll be talking about here in this one is the M160. This is a weapon from Advanced Warfare that to me is rather intriguing because it's one of the ones that was actually shown off in promotional artwork for Advanced Warfare before the launch of the game, whenever we were kind of in that phase of only getting campaign information. It was one of those weapons that was featured in that kind of stuff and really it never made it anywhere past that. Whether it got cut for whatever reasoning, it was something that right around that time, it was still projected to be a weapon that would make it into the full game, but never actually did. It's something that can be seen in some of the imagery for the mission Maximum Overdrive, as well as it's seen briefly on the mission Fission, but it's definitely something that's intriguing to me. Lucky for us though, YouTuber Mr. Jarney ended up actually pulling this out of the game files and once again, getting us some footage here as a result, but we can see the assault rifle from Advanced Warfare in action as a result. And it shows just how buggy it is too at some points, because if you look, you'll be able to see that some of the attachments are actually floating off a little bit further from the weapon. They're not actually connected, so it didn't really work out to be the greatest, I guess, because it was cut so early. Some of this stuff was not optimized, but it is what it is, and once again, that is a weapon you probably never got to play around with and probably never even knew about. So, that said, that's going to conclude this episode here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. That said, drop your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Did you guys know about any of these? Have you seen any of them in action? Or have you maybe even ever played around with them at all in your experience, too, in the game files? Love to hear your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. But, hopefully, you guys enjoyed, and if you guys did, make sure you drop a like down below. And, of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything we have here regarding Call of Duty in general, both Black Ops 3 multiplayer and Zombies, Zombies Chronicles, Call of Duty World War 2 multiplayer and Zombies, Modern Warfare Mastered, all that good stuff, we got you covered here up on the channel. And finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get connected with me outside of YouTube, I practically live on Twitter, so if you guys want to check up a conversation, ask me a question, wherever it may be, link is down there in the description below. But all that said, out of the way, hopefully you guys had a fantastic day, thanks so much for watching, my name is Nicole Espress, so take care, and peace.